Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 1 on Console Get A Life Mode, part of our new uh, Retro Sunday series. So we left off the last episode moving out of Mimi's place and moving in with our new roommate who is our new friend. Hey Patricia, we should throw some major parties. My friends are dying to meet you, but first you should finish some things I promised the landlord I would do. Oh, so that's up to me then, is it Betty? Fucking hell, please don't tell me I've got myself another Mimi. Well, let's take a look at our new pad. That's oh, not too shabby, is it? Yeah, pretty spacious. Not bad. Okay, let's check our goals for this one. Throw a raging party. Try and score with a party guest. Upgrade your abode. Get promoted to career level six. Okay, so maybe I'll just buy a couple things to begin with. I wish it would just tell me, like, how much I need to upgrade my abode by. That would be helpful. Well, first of all, we'll get a beverage cooler for the, outdo the outdoors part. So that our guests can have something to drink. What else we got? Maybe an easel would be helpful for building skills. I'm going to get another barbecue because that was pretty handy to have around back at Mimi's place. I'm going to get one of these aromatic whiffer things as well because that was handy having that around. There we go. That will do for now. Hey, congratulations. The house is looking great. You unlocked <gasps> the vibromatic heart bed. Oh, what a classic. Let's have rosemary and peppermint. Okay, so we need one creative, one body, and one charisma. She's in kind of an okay mood. Oh, I should probably buy a mirror though. Okay, let's see if she will practice her speech or if she'll be a bitch about it. Less huffing and puffing and more practicing speech in, please. We do need another friend as well. Oh no, try and get that skill. Don't, don't, don't tell me no. Friendships are like plants, if they don't care for them, oh no, we're not friends with Mimi Langrab anymore. <laughs> Fuck's sake. And she's flat out refusing to use the mirror again. <laughs> Too depressed to even look at myself. Okay, well then just have, have some dinner. Pain in my ass. I feel like Sims and The Sims 1 definitely have more personality. Like she is being such a miserable bitch. You've just moved into a new place with your best friend and... All she's done is just gone, oh, just everything I ask her to do, oh, oh. I didn't realise I was babysitting a teenager there, Patricia. Piss taker, this chick. Absolute piss taker. Okay, when you finish doing that, you can go and take a shit. And then maybe we'll try and get you to do something fun, like uh, watch some TV, just to placate you for a few hours. Who's that at the door? A new friend. Stop watching TV and come greet this new friend. She seems nice. Her name's Fran. Okay, let's compliment Fran. And we'll talk to her. Try and become Fran's friend. Because you could really do with some more friends. Okay, well complimenting didn't really go too well. So maybe... Oh, okay. Well, fuck you then, Fran. Won't accept my compliment. We'll just watch some TV instead. Okay, so stop watching TV. Go and grab a plate, and then you can take a shit again, I guess, because <laughs> your bladder is still almost empty, despite going, like, less than an hour ago. Maybe we'll try and get her to do, um, gain some creativity. Go and sell this painting, see if you can at least gain just one skill in something today. Fran doesn't want to be our friend, so I guess try and achieve something. What do you want, Fran? Why are you just standing there watching me like a loser? No, you're not going to paint because you need to... I'm not in the mood to paint. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Patricia, not in the mood to do something? Oh, I didn't see that one coming. All right, well, I think that's about all we're going to achieve for tonight. So let's just, let's go to sleep. Betty, maybe you could clean up around here. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing I did at Mimi's house. We're going to hire a maid. Betty Munt. Why is Betty's surname the same as mine? Did they get married and I just didn't know about it? <laughs> Come to think of it, there is only one bedroom. Oh shit. Maybe they're meant to be a couple now. Yes, I would like to hire a daily maid service. And then in the meantime, Betty can go and serve breakfast so that we have something to eat when we wake up. 
Not that it really makes a difference whether she's in a good mood for work or not, because she's not going to get a promotion. I mean, does she even have, like, days off? Can I give her the day off? Like, I don't see the option to call work or anything. What about services? No. I'm tempted to just kind of make her stay home and not go to work, but I just don't want that to come back and bite me on the ass and get her, like, fired or some shit. You know what? I'm going to make the executive decision. We're not going to go to work today. We are instead going to work on our skills. So let's start by practicing our speech. She does need a body skill as well. So, hey, we got one charisma point. Great success. Well, while you're still in a good mood, let's see if we can get you to paint as well. I don't think we own anything to help with your body skills, so I might have to buy you a little something. Maybe the treadmill? It's a bit more expensive than the bench press, but I feel like the more you splash the cash, the more chance you'll build a skill faster, so... Sometimes these things are just worth it. The calf pull for Patricia will arrive in an hour. Not today. No way, Jose. Hey, we got a creativity point. Okay, great. Now let's, um, well, we'll start off by just having a little jog. Who knows? We might even be able to also throw a party tonight. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't want to imagine the carpet burn that would have resulted from that. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll just walk. We'll just walk, okay? I'm sorry. So hopefully, if we get that body skill, then I'll work on her needs again. Maybe we'll try and throw a party and see if we can make one more friend. That would be ideal. We have a friend at the door? Betty can go talk to him. Who do you think you are, walking around in shorts and a top hat? What kind of neighbourhood is this? Oh, are you done with the treadmill now? What about if we just walk? Will you do it? Will you do it? Oh, she's going to do it. Oh, great. Sweet success. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> that was a firm no. You sure? You sure you don't want to do it? Okay, well, the phone's ringing, so the least we could do is answer the phone. The way they answer the phone is so funny. Your rich grandmother needs to reduce the size of her estate immediately. Get 1,050 simoleons. Oh, great success. All right, Patricia. Well, I guess you can get a couple of hours of snooze in. Seeing as you're so tired. <laughs> the maid came in and just made the bed, even though I'm sleeping in it. Really is attention to detail, I must say. Okay, well, energy is pretty full, so I might send her to go and use the bathroom, and then Betty can go and serve dinner, and then once Patricia is finished taking a dump, maybe she'll let me get her on the treadmill again, and then I might call Mimi, see if we can rekindle our friendship, and maybe we'll throw a party tonight. I don't know if we'll have time, but we can at least try, I guess. I wonder if she'll do the treadmill now. Probably not, because she's only at half, half her capacity for fun. But I guess we'll see. She might just laugh at me and be like, are you taking the piss? But she might not. She might play ball. I just want her to get to the point where her skills are done and then all I have to do is worry about her making friends. Is that too much to ask, Patricia? Because I didn't think it was. Okay, fine, fine. Go and watch some TV then. Actually, no. Call Mimi, although she might be sleeping. See if she wants to have a little chat. Try and rekindle our friendship with Mimi. Hey, we're friends again. Okay, great, great. Now I'll watch some TV and then we'll go to sleep because we actually have to go to work tomorrow. Patricia, why aren't you going to bed? Why are you just sitting there? Go to bed. God damn, Sims 1 really is The Sims 4, turns out. You ask the Sims to do something. And they're just like, nah, I'd rather just stand here doing nothing for two hours. Okay, Betty, you can go into the kitchen. That's pretty much all I use Betty for, really, is just serving meals. So how about you serve breakfast? Patricia, you've got to get up. You need to have a bath. Getting a bit stinky. She's going to complain because I woke her up. You, just you wait, she's going to kick off. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you'd react that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Betty started a fire. Oh, for Christ's sake. Why'd you do that, Betty? You slag. 
What am I going to have for breakfast now? Hasn't disturbed Patricia's bath, though. She's still just like, splish, splosh. <laughs> There's a fire going on. Oh, shit. Betty's caught on fire. <gasps> if she dies, that means it's going to be, like, game over for me. I really hope it's not going to be game over. The carpool for Patricia will arrive in an hour. Shit, I think she's dying. She's dead. <gasps> oh, no. But I've made so much progress. Please don't end the game for me. It's not my fault she's a terrible cook. Oh, Patricia, just in time. Patricia, go in the bathroom. I don't want you to see this. Get out of there. I don't want you to catch fire too. That's right, Patricia. Walk away. Wait, does that mean Betty's not going to be my friend anymore because she'll be dead? That would be so inconvenient. Well, at least we got to see the Sims 1 console Grim Reaper. This is really bad. Well, I mean, the carpool is here, so should probably go to work. Betty has just died. Though the body is gone, the spirit will always remain. Oh no! You're kidding. Betty is dead, game over. Oh no! I'm guessing it's just gonna load from the last point. Oh, this is some bullshit, man. It's gonna start all over again, isn't it? Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, so I just loaded back up from where it began and uh, basically played through to the point where we got to before the game ended so that you didn't have to watch it all over again she's pretty much in the same position we called Mimi we've got about an hour before the car gets here we just have one body skill left to go and then everything will be gravy okay have a good day at work you're not gonna get a promotion but I mean just show up and be nice I guess Betty doesn't have a job of course she doesn't oh phone's ringing Answer the phone. And then I'm thinking what I might do is try and get Betty to uh, read up on cooking just to try and avoid what happened. Malcolm, I hear the place is finally up to snuff. <laughs> Who says that? Up to snuff. Keep it that way and you can party all you want. See ya. I'll keep in touch. Right, see if you can study cooking. Because that would be pretty beneficial to me if you can try and not set the house ablaze die in a fire. I mean, that would be great if you can manage not to do that. Especially when Sims autonomously try and cook for themselves. So you, little fire starter, you could aim, you could end my game without my input at all. And we, we want to avoid that, don't we? Yeah. Hey, one cooking point. Great success. You just keep at it, Betty. Hey, Betty's gained another cooking point. Great, so we probably won't be having many fires around here now. Oh, Patricia's home. Great. Are you going to kick up a fuss if I try and get you to do a workout on a treadmill? I bet you will. I bet you will. Yeah, how did I anticipate that noise? That uh-uh. Yeah, not in the mood. Yeah, I figured. I figured. Okay, well, how about this? You can take a bath. Betty, maybe you can rustle something up in the kitchen with your new cooking skills. Go and serve dinner. Yeah, the only thing that's really that challenging is that I feel like it takes a full day to get, like, one skill by the time she gets done by work. So she has to make... Oh, shit, she's already lost another friend. She has to make another friend and gain a body skill, and I feel like that's going to be quite a lot of work in itself. And now, of course, we have to make time to call mom, re-establish that friendship. <laughs> She's singing to herself. We'll just, um, we'll just talk. I like that there's an option to get advice, though. That's pretty cute. And then maybe we'll get a few hours of sleep. Definitely not going to be able to throw a party tonight. Okay, now go to the bathroom. Then we're going to watch some TV. And then I'm going to see if you'll indulge me in a little bit of a walk on the treadmill. Okay, I think she may have had enough fun to agree to do a workout. Will you do a workout? Please? Yay! Just like that we got the body skill we need. Okay, you can stop now. Right, so I'm thinking, let's call mum. We'll just have a chat. Oh no, it's pretty... Might be a bit late actually. So perhaps instead we'll just go back to sleep. Get a few more hours of kip. And then maybe when it's like 7am or something, then we'll call mum again. 
And Betty, now that you're awake, you can go serve up some breakfast. Gotta have a system. Okay, I think that's enough energy. So now you can go have a plate of food. Stop complaining, you fucking bitch. Then we'll call mum. Okay, hopefully we can talk enough. Okay, we've become her friend again. And now that one has gone back to two, so that's good. Maybe in these last ten minutes you could just watch a little bit of TV. If you're quick. Oh, you managed to get one minute's worth of TV before the car turned up. <laughs> Uh, well, on the bright side, when she gets home today, we're just going to throw a party and see if we can make a friend. Have a good day, Patricia. She'll probably think about maybe getting Betty a job. I mean, we could do with two incomes, really. Go and find a job, Betty. Stop being such a layabout all your life. Oh, she, she doesn't want to find a job. She's not having enough fun. Fine, go and watch TV for an hour, and then you can go and find a job. Pain in my ass. Okay, you've had some fun. Now you need to get off your ass and get a job. 3 p.m. till 8 p.m. Mm, I'd rather have one. Okay, that's better, yeah. We'll do the uh, 9 till 3. That's a bit more in line with Patricia's work schedule. Okay, so when Patricia gets home, she needs to have a nap and have some fun. Patricia's home! Great, great. Okay, Patricia, how about you... I think maybe let's just, first of all, get a few hours of sleep straight away and then we'll throw a party at like, I don't know, seven, eight? So maybe we'll give you like an hour of sleep or something? That should be enough. Like a power nap? Right, okay, that's enough sleep now. It's time to throw a party. We gotta throw a raging party, make some friends. Or just make, we'll make two friends apparently, because mum is also now no longer our friend again. She's so fickle, that woman. So I guess once we've planned the party, maybe we'll call mum. <laughs> there we go. Party's on. Okay, now let's just quickly call mum for a chat and see if we can be friends again. <laughs> okay, now Betty, you need to get out here and grill for this party. And then my sim's gonna go around greeting everyone, try and get some people in the hot tub, you know. Okay, let's see if we can get some people in the hot tub. Oh, are people getting in? Yes! Great success. I like the guy with the cowboy hat. Can I not talk to anyone while I'm in the hot tub, though? Oh, okay. Well, I won't then. I'll talk to this guy instead. We'll just talk to him a load of, load of times. See if that gets us anywhere. Everyone's eating. This is a good sign of a good party. I just need to become friends with Peter. Go and fucking talk to Peter. This sim, man. So I doubt I can, like, become his friend tonight, but I can at least try and, you know, set things in the works for potentially a good relationship in the future, maybe. Kind of happy the police haven't come to shut, shut me down yet. Things are going well, they're going well. We're on track to becoming friends. I'm, like, halfway towards being his friend. Oh, but she is gonna, like, pass out at any point now. <laughs> Hopefully I can keep this up. Oh, flirt. I don't know if that's going to go down particularly well, but we'll try it. I mean, I don't know. I'm starting to think... Oh, shit. Don't fall asleep. You're so close to being this guy's friend. Oh, I think he's saying goodbye now anyway. Oh, fine. He could have been the love of our life. We'll invite him over again tomorrow. Let's, let's just go to sleep. I said you can go to sleep. You don't have to be so dramatic. Would it be bad if I gave her another day off? I might save it and then see if I can give her another day off. Although, I don't know, maybe I could do with using the day off for the next time she has to get a promotion, which I'm sure will be on this level. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Okay, that's going to have to be enough energy for today. You, you need to go and use the bathroom and then... Tonight's gonna be another long night for you, though, because we are gonna have another party tonight. Sorry about that. Oh dear, we're gonna have a pretty bad day at work today, I think. She is very much a uh, not very happy sim right now. And it's time to go to work. Oh no, wait, I think that's Betty's car, isn't it? Yeah, Betty has to go to work. Bye, Betty, have a good day. Look at the state of this house. Absolutely disgusting. Good thing we've got a maid, huh? Well, you better go to work too now. Have a good day. 
I like having both at work because then it means I don't just have to sit around for ages waiting for Patricia to get back. The way their heads like bobble around while they're at work. <laughs> Is that Betty? Yeah, Betty's home. Okay, good. Well, maybe while we're waiting for Patricia to get back, Betty can just go grill some burgers. And then I might just have Betty throw a party. Because I don't think it really matters. Patricia's not really going to be able to um, move on to the next stage until she's got the promotion after this one anyway. So there's not really much point in just getting her to throw parties all the time. Betty can do it too. Okay, great. Party's about to start. Hopefully our boy Peter makes it. And Patricia is home, which is good. Maybe we'll try and get like a couple of hours of sleep before loads of guests start arriving. Even just like an hour sleep would be fine. Okay, Betty, people are here. Why don't you go greet them? Okay, that much energy is going to have to do for now because we need to try and get Peter to be our friend. Oh, okay. I think she's just like refusing to talk to anyone because she's not having enough fun. Okay, fine, go and watch some TV, I guess, and then drain, drain yourself of all your energy and then become useless to me again, I guess. Okay, there you go, you've had some fun. Now go and talk to Peter. Please, please go and talk to him. I just need you to try and be his friend. <sighs> so now she's refusing to do anything because she needs to have a shower. I didn't realise, I knew Sims would refuse to go and build skills, but I didn't realise they would also refuse to even talk to any other Sims. Oh, seriously, are you really telling me that we're still not going to get a promotion? Because she won't talk to anyone. Don't do this to me. Okay, well, this just isn't going to work, is it? So we may as well just go to bed, because you're just going to be such a bitch about this. Go to bed then, go to bed. I was so optimistic. That we were gonna have a good day you know what i might try and take another day off tomorrow i might just like save the game at like i don't know 7 a.m and then if i manage to avoid getting fired for taking the day off then that would be good okay that's enough sleep i might get her to go and watch some tv try and have a little bit of fun betty maybe you can rustle up some burgers maybe make yourself useful so i wonder if i just save my game. Hopefully, taking a day off won't get her fired. Betty could probably take a day off as well. Why not? Oh, phone's ringing. Maybe someone's going to give us some money. Oh, no, it's just the same Malcolm message. Okay, so Patricia, it looks like you're having a fairly good time. Maybe if you go and have, like, a little nap. And then Betty's going to rustle up some burgers. And then maybe we will invite Peter over and see if we can become his friend. Right, then we'll have a few burgers, and then we should be golden. This maid is probably so disgusted by us. Let's call Peter. Peter lives in the party guy's house, so that's pretty cool. Seems like a pretty cool guy. We'll invite him over. You betcha, by golly, gee whiz, I've been hankering to see you so I'm mighty glad you called. <laughs> okay, well let's not be too keen there, Peter. She says, as she literally stands outside the house, waiting for him to show up. Here he is. Hey, buddy. Okay, let's just talk to him a few times and see if we can maybe convince him that we are a real great person. Oh, things are going pretty well. He might be a friend soon. <gasps> yes. Okay, great success. Now all we need to do is have a chat with mum. Sorry you lost a family friend. Yeah, I know. Wait, what? What do you mean? I guess Peter decided he didn't want to be my friend because I tried flirting with him, but then he changed his mind after I spoke to him a little bit. Okay, great, great. Well, I guess we should probably call Mom, see how she's doing. Try and reinstate that friendship. Okay, now we have four friends. So we have everything we need to get a promotion tomorrow. So I'm thinking, how about we... Just try and do everything we can. We'll have a quick snack. Maybe we'll have a shower. And then we'll take a shit and then we'll go to bed. Okay, there you go. You're both in bed now, so the time should fly by. Okay, so now I'm thinking maybe Betty, if you go and serve breakfast, save the game, just in case you decide to start a fire again. <laughs> I do not trust these Sims. Not one bit. 
And then if Betty does that, then Patricia, you can just go watch some TV for a bit. Try and get yourself happy. Okay, needs are looking pretty good. They're not perfect, but they're looking pretty good. Maybe, maybe we'll get a promotion today. Okay, let's go to work. Have a good day. Try and get that promotion. Maybe I'll get Bessie to throw a party again. Just so Patricia can meet someone else. Because I'm pretty sure she's going to need a friend for her next promotion too. So we may as well try and meet some people, you know. While we're not too miserable. She might not have got a promotion because she took a day off. Oh yeah, she didn't get a promotion. That's okay, that's fine. We'll just go and try and make another friend at least. I mean, we seem to be getting on with Woody, okay? Oh, we lost a friendship with Mom again. For someone who's meant to love us unconditionally, her love is pretty conditional. Okay, I think we should maybe pick up the phone and um, talk to Mom again. I think she isn't really feeling that loved right now. And then we'll probably go to bed. There we go, that'll do. Okay, let's get some sleep. Hey, Patricia, you want to maybe wake up temporarily just to go and talk to Woody for a little bit? You know, maybe... Try and make a new friend. Maybe. Oh, I think he's going home now anyway. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just go back to bed. Okay, I think maybe now we should wake up. We'll go and take a quick bath. And then Betty can go and serve breakfast. Got a little system going on now, I think. Okay, that's enough bathing. It's time to go get breakfast. Don't really have that much time. And then I also want to get her to watch TV for a little bit because she's a miserable little moo. All right, time for work. Let's go. Here's to maybe getting a promotion today. Oh, Patricia's back. Yes! We got a promotion. And we unlocked the Sonic Shower. Great success. Okay, we need a few skills to get to the next promotion. So maybe we'll go and do some painting. I'll try and make the most of her being in a reasonably good mood. Well, yeah. I imagine it'll probably be like another week before we get a promotion. Oh, it looks like she's actually having fun whilst painting. That's really good. That's very helpful for me. I know, I know, you're tired. All right, go to sleep then. I've never known anyone to need so much sleep as much as Sims in The Sims 1. I'm starting to think maybe there isn't a limit on days that could get you fired. Like how many days off you take. I don't know. Because I haven't been fired yet. Hey, we got a creativity point. Well, Patricia, that earns you some breakfast. Congratulations. Then maybe we'll try and work on our charisma. This is going to take quite a while because she's already pretty high up in charisma. So she's going to be having to spend a lot of time doing this, I think. Hey, we got one charisma point. And it only cost us being tired, stinky and needing to go for a pee. Oh, did Betty decide not to go to work today? Huh. Okay. Fine. So I guess I'm just entertaining you today then, Betty. Oh no, she's just gone. Well then in my spare time, what I might do is, um, call Mum. Because I know she gets funny if I don't call her every day. Oh, I've got a limo picking me up this time. Okay, okay. In with the big boys. Alright, well have a good day. See you when you get back. Okay, well, Betty's back. Um, she doesn't really need any more skills for a promotion, so she might get a promotion next time she goes to work. How's Patricia's needs doing? Well, her hunger's fine. She just needs to have a nap and a bath. She needs one body, one charisma, one new friend. Maybe, maybe, Betty, you should just have a little nap-nap? One tactic that seems to be working for me, or well, I think it's working, is whenever I have to make a new friend for a promotion, if I leave that till last, that's probably for the best, because I keep, yeah, like this, see, I keep losing friends. So I kind of feel like if I save making friends until last, then it's a bit easier to maintain relationships. Okay, home from work. First thing I'm gonna do, get some shut eye, just for a few hours, and then maybe we'll try and get a skill in charisma, if she'll, if she'll let me. Okay, that's enough sleep. So, Betty, maybe you can serve dinner for us. And then, Patricia, you need to go and have a bath. Because you're getting a little bit whiffy. And then I'm going to see if she'll maybe indulge me in 
building up her charisma skill, although I doubt it. All right, let's grab some grub. Maybe watch a bit of TV, because I think she's, if I ask her now, she's just going to be like, oh, I can't even look at myself. They're so dramatic, these Sims. They're like teenagers. I haven't watched enough TV to even look myself in the mirror yet. Relatable, sure. Okay, hopefully that's enough fun to start practicing your speech. So she finishes work at 6pm and it's taken until, what, 3.30am? To get her happy enough to, to build one skill. <laughs> I played this when it came out. So I would have been, I don't know, like 10, 11. And I completed this when it came out. And I'm just looking back and thinking, how? How did 10-year-old Carla complete this? Because I, I remember it feeling pretty easy at the time. I think just over the years, I've just been really spoiled with having an easy Sims game. Um, no, Betty, use the other fucking toilet. Use that one. Try and kick me out of my bathroom. Fuck off. You given up? You finished practicing in the mirror now? You don't want to do it anymore? No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I know. You're too depressed to even look at yourself, I know. Well, your car's going to be here in two hours, so maybe just have a very, very, very quick nap. You know what? I might have a look and build and buy and see if there's, like, a bed I could buy that's, like, meant to properly boost quality of sleep. Well, we already have one of the best beds, apparently. Hey! <laughs> Betty doesn't even have go to work on her list of things to do. Just sit on the swing. No, go to work. Okay, probably time to wake up, I think. You've got like 10 minutes before your car gets here. And I know that you like to take a couple of minutes to stomp around. Yeah, see? I knew you wanted to just throw a fit, so I gave you time to do that. Have a good day. Betty's back. Betty doesn't seem to be getting any promotions. Maybe she can't. Maybe other played sims don't get promotions or something. Alright, Betty, go get some sleep. Okay, Patricia, you can sleep for a few hours. Because I really do need you working on some skills. Oh, shit, we only have one friend. Oh, shit, man. Okay, well, you also have some phone calls to make, I think. Right, that amount of sleep is going to have to do for now, because we need to go... Call mom, and then we have to call Mimi. Okay, Betty, how about you rustle up some... Poor Betty, that's all she gets used for, is just cooking for us. All right, Patricia, you want to maybe go practice your speech a little bit? Oh, still no. Okay, well, you could just go and eat then, I guess. Okay, and Betty, maybe you can come turn the TV off. So that when Patricia gets done with this, she can have a quick nap. Okay, Patricia, well, maybe you can have a few more hours sleep, but I'm not going to fill your need completely full. Because you don't really need to go to work happy. You're not going to get a promotion. Okay, that's enough sleep. Hey, we got the charisma point we needed. Sweet success. Okay, that's good. We are one point closer so today when I get home from work, although she's going to have zero energy, isn't she? So maybe I'll just get her to um, call all of her friends, have a good night's sleep, and then we'll make a start on the treadmill. So I doubt we'll get that body skill tonight, but if we work on it over the next two days, it might happen. Hey, Betty's been promoted. Well done, Betty. Good for you. A major talent agency noticed your work in Bride of the Thing that came from Planet X <laughs> and signed you to a contract. The notoriety gained you two charisma points. <gasps> oh, yeah. That makes me very happy. Right. We need to call Mimi. We also need to call Peter because we've lost our friendship with him just to try and rebuild those bridges. Oh, dear. Peter didn't like us calling him. Okay. All right, well, let's just go to bed. And then maybe in the morning, we'll do a little bit of workout. Okay, so we've had quite a lot of sleep. So I'm just going to get Patricia to watch some TV just to improve her fun. Betty, you can go and serve breakfast. And maybe, just maybe, we'll have some time for a quick workout. 
Okay, maybe we can at least just try and get in maybe like an hour of workout, something. All right, let's go to work. Ah, I think that's one of the few times I've actually heard her say Sil Sil. I have to remember when Betty gets back, she's got to call the repair person because their dishwasher is broken. I wonder if I bought them a plasma TV, if that would improve their fun quicker. I'm going to test it out with Betty. I'm going to get her to watch the TV and see how fast her fun goes up. Mm, it kind of seems to be l like at the same level. Okay, Patricia, I think we will... We'll call Mimi again. Just have a chat. We'll call Peter again. Just have a chat. You know, I might try and take another day off. I feel like I keep taking lots of days off. <laughs> But, I mean, I don't know if there's a limit, but she hasn't been fired yet. So, that makes me feel kind of hopeful. I mean, apart from fun, her needs are looking pretty good. So maybe we'll just go and watch TV until Betty's finished making our breakfast. Oh, shit, we haven't been paying our bills. Right, I'm going to save my game because I'm going to give them both the day off today. That way, if I get fired, then I can just reload from this point. <laughs> Okay, we'll pay the bills. Patricia, how, how are you getting on with having fun? You having a great time? You having a good time? Okay, fun is going well, so I'm thinking maybe, maybe she might just work out for me. Warning, you have missed work today. It is okay to miss one day, but if you make it a habit, you will be fired. <gasps> okay, okay. So I guess that means that I can take today off, but no more days off for me. What the fuck am I going to do in the next mission if that means I can't take any more days off? <gasps> yes! I got my body skill. Already it was so worth it. Okay, so now I am going to... I'm going to call Mimi. I'm going to invite her over. And then I'll probably call Peter and invite him over too. Because I feel like face-to-face -face interaction is probably going to help me build up their, um, their relationship a lot quicker. Thought you'd never ask, I'll be over in a minute. Okay, good, good. Glad to hear it. So now we'll invite over Peter. I know you're tired, I know you are, but we'll invite him over. But hopefully, I mean, with Mimi, we only need to do a few interactions to get us back over 50. And then same with Peter, so... Oh, here's Peter. So we'll go and greet him. Where the fuck is Mimi, though? Oh, there she is. Okay, so we'll just talk to Peter a few times. Hey, okay, so we're friends with Peter again. Now we just need to work on Mimi. Mimi's just making Betty cry. <laughs> oh, okay, I know, you're tired. Go on then, go to bed. The only trouble with um, the fact that she just needs to work on her friendships is that by the time her like energy is full, everyone else is going to be asleep. Okay, so Patricia, you need to go take a shower. So maybe I might try calling Mom, although she might be pissed off with me for calling her so early in the morning. Okay, so Mom is our friend again. Let's try calling Mimi. We'll just talk to her. So hopefully we can get her back on side. Okay, great, great. So we have three out of four. You know what? I might try calling Woody just to start working on our relationship. Because currently we have like 26, so we're about halfway to a friendship with this guy. So as soon as I finish work, I'm going to throw a party. Oh, okay, he didn't appreciate that. <laughs> but yeah, as soon as she finishes work today, I'm going to throw a party. We'll become friends with Woody. Or maybe I'll just invite Woody over, actually. Because I have to hit that promotion before I can score with a party guest. And I've got a bit of a soft spot for Peter. I think uh, I might try and score with him because he's got that little geeky look I like. Okay, let's go to work. Have a good day. I'll get Betty to work out on the treadmill, see if we can get her uh, a promotion as well. Although I don't really give too much of a shit about her. I'll at least give her a chance so that she's earning a good income by the time I find someone and fuck off. Okay, Patricia's home. First things first. Let's call Woody. See if he wants to come and hang out. This is the point where he probably just says no. I would, but I'm expecting the mail carrier sometime today. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll just throw a party then. 
Okay, Woody's here. So let's just try and become friends with him. Oh, nearly there. Just a few more interactions. Although we're probably going to lose mom as a friend soon. But that's fine. I'll just call her in the morning. We'll, we'll be fine. Yay! Okay, great, great. So we're now friends with Woody. I'm going to get her to call her mum quickly. Just so that her mum doesn't decide to stop being our friend just before we go to work. Because that's the kind of sadistic bitch she is. Okay, great, great. So, let's just get some sleep. And hopefully, fingers crossed, get a promotion tomorrow. I don't think we will. I don't know, I just have a feeling these things tend to go pretty slowly. But maybe we will. Okay, so Patricia's going to take a shower and take a shit. Betty's going to serve breakfast. Let's get this morning routine on, on the road. Okay, so Betty, you're going to go to work. And Patricia, you've got about an hour of watching TV before you have to go to work too. Hopefully, we get a promotion. Okay, let's go. Good luck, try and get a promotion. If she gets a promotion, then we're going to throw a raging party tonight and I'm going to try and score with Peter, my sexy little geek. So when Patricia gets home, I might let her have just a little sleep, maybe like two hours until like eight, and then we'll throw a party when she's back. If she gets a promotion, she might not. Yes, we've been promoted to TV star. Oh, great success. And we unlocked the artist block. Yay. Okay, sweet. We'll get a couple hours of sleep and then we will throw a party. Okay, that's enough. We can throw a party now. Awesome. Okay, Betty, I'm going to need you to grill some burgers. And then while Betty's grilling, Patricia can be the hostess. Greet everyone. Maybe get some people in the hot tub. Alright, let's see if we can get some people in the steamy tub. And then Betty, maybe you can get everyone in the tub. Oh, this is going pretty well. Huh, okay. So some interactions are going well and some aren't. So I'm kind of wondering now whether this might be something I'll have to try and do tomorrow. <laughs> oh, they seem to be in love. Kind of. Oh, they're going in for their first kiss. What is she doing? Proposing? You're proposing to him? Really? It's so loud in here. What did you say? What? You want to get married? Well, okay, I do. I do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Really? You guys are getting married? That was, that was pretty fast. Oh, Everyone's leaving the party just as we're getting married. How rude. So I think we've just got married. They love each other 100%. Wow. And she's so tired as well, bless her. She's going to pass out from exhaustion soon. That's going to be Malcolm telling me I've made it to the next stage, I'm guessing. I promised you I would compensate you for the major improvements to the house, and you've done quite a bit. I always keep my promises. Malcolm owes Patricia 5,000 smolians. Woo! That sounds good to me. Well, there we go. That is uh, mission four. Hot to trot. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next mission. Goodbye.